they wanted to keep living here too. And they wonder why they got kicked out. One of the squatters is that we kicked out yesterday is walking down there with a the big EMS bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. that's that's what we kicked out. Of course, I grew up in this particular house right here. You know, right next door, you got that yellow house. Hey, that was Miss Davila's house. This stuff is like that's too rough. It's, it's a rotten floor. Now uh, the floor just like, giving in. Yeah. I lady's been living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement, but. And I pay the rent every month. She ain't lacking no. Yeah. Oh, you see how flimsy this fucking door is? Right yeah. up in there? So. You know, a lot of memories down here in these streets, right? So, you know, all the fucking entitled this or entitled that or this guy doesn't really know what it's like. We're being taken advantage of. We're the fucking victims. I don't want to fucking hear any of that bullshit because that's all it is. It's fucking chitter chatter. What the fuck am I doing? And then this is uh, the entry entry where you got two options you could either go out the front door or if that's not your fancy <laughs> just jump right just out the window climbing through the window yep you'll make millions the sky's the limit the amount of money that we make uh running the business the right way is, is just ungodly it's amazing dude if you don't know what you're getting into like for every investor that works with us, uh, for us to help them buy properties, we also have investors who reach out to us who they already have properties and it's not working for them and they want us to take over the investment for them to stabilize them uh, or just sell the investment because they're done. systems in place and you scale up and you, you, you put in the work and you work with the right team and and you do things by the book in the right way dude you'll make millions the sky's the limit the amount of money that we make uh, running the business the right way is, is just ungodly it's amazing you know my uh, way of life is dramatically increased right uh, this, this is another thing we get there on uh, internet land I read the comments every now and again it's so many fucking pricks out there like, oh, this guy's never had any idea what it's like to have $100 in his bank account or to have a le less than a million dollars in his bank. This guy's just a rich prick, doesn't know what it's like. Fuck you, motherfucker. I grew up in one of these fucking low-cost neighborhoods, dude. Uh, when I started investing in real estate, I was 21 years old. I was managing a fucking radio shack making $30,000. If you want to make money and you're willing to work hard, you will make money. It's all these fucking woke, victim playing pussies out there crying about this, blaming everybody for this and that because they're not willing to put in the fucking work. The system is rigged. The system is wrong. I got a bad student loan. Pay off my student loan. Well, who the fuck told you getting a philosophy degree was going to fucking feed your family, you fucking pussy? Of course you're serving up coffee. That's not going to make anybody any money, dude. Like, what are you thinking? I grew up in one of these fucking low-cost neighborhoods, dude. The lady that used to babysit me after school when both my parents were working lived in this particular house right here. We used to come to this house after school and that is where we got babysat till uh, my mom or my dad got off of work and they could pick us up. So, you know, a lot of memories down here in these 
streets, right? So, you know, all the fucking entitled this or entitled that or this guy doesn't really know what it's like. We're being taken advantage of. We're the fucking victims. I don't want to fucking hear any of that bullshit because that's all it is. It's fucking chitter chatter. Try to get it like waist level. It's bullshit. It's people making excuses because they're not willing to go out there and work. It's the liberal media perpetuating this fucking victim mindset, this vilification uh, of those who are actually out there trying to make something themselves, trying to actually work hard. It's fucking nonsense, right? Like this fucking couch, like he just fucking throws the couch right on the side of the house. Like. This fucking building right here, we used to get fish at our school, which was that school right there, Our Lady of Good Counsel. We used to get fish uh, from there, 25 cents at the end of the year. We used to do this little carnival in the back of the school there. And uh, you get you get these little tickets you win and you get a free fish. You go to that fish store right there, get yourself a little 25 cent fish. This is my daughter apartment. And I pay rent every month. She ain't lacking on shit. Back when I was a kid, this barber shop right here, this actually was not a barber shop. This actually used to be a corner store. And crazy story, dude. They used to have these really big uh, popsicles. Like, you know, the popsicles in like a bag or whatever that you just eat. And then there's the little juice at the bottom. Like, my fucking kids love them, right? But that particular store, it was a corner store. Well, locally owned joint, and it used to uh, have like super big ones, dude, like just like twice the size of the regular ones. And my mom used to always uh, ride her bike because this was our street right here. We used to ride our bike down to there. And one time, she actually, our bike got struck by lightning. It was the craziest fucking thing, dude. I mean, dude, everything about this fucking house is like. Oh, yeah, it's fucked. Somebody will want to run away. Don't forget this bedroom over here, too. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get on this side. Usually put more doors off the hinges than on. And when uh, if, when we uh, put a lock on there, we're going to give you a key. I know. But they, that key can't myself. be that key. You see that? I didn't even know they broke the lock. Because I, I had a key two weeks ago. We were like riding pretty much right over here and uh, it started raining and storming and lightning struck. It didn't actually strike us, it struck like a tree that was pretty close to us. And uh, that was just wild, it was just a memory I had uh, going down to that street right there. And then of course I grew up in this particular house right here. You know, right next door you got that yellow house. Hey, that was Miss Davila's house. You know, Miss Davila, she used to actually cut her fucking grass though. Uh, doesn't look like the dude living there currently is interested in cutting the grass, but you know, is what it is. It's one of the worst fucking stalls I've ever seen in my life, dude. Yeah, pretty bad. <clears throat> like we'll finish in the bathroom and then we'll play on the fucking basement wall. Yeah.
am I doing? I don't know if I focus so much on the shitty parts, you know? I mean, it's obviously unavoidable. Yeah, it's all shitty. <laughs> yeah. So I'll see if we can finish up in that other bathroom over there. I'm going to check the basement out. I'm going to go to the basement and walk through. We'll get some drone footage. Need the right, but we're yeah. gonna put a lock on there, and we're That's gonna, we're gonna give it to you. That's when I started getting the butcher knife, <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. Yeah, who wants to hang out in the dark? Mm -hmm. And I took the one out there too. That was upstairs when I come in. I just click it on the side mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. See, that was for my safety. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Cause my granddaughter's play down there. Cause that's where they like to play. They wanted to keep living here too. And they wonder why they got kicked out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that a property manager for this place? Dude, right? We would all be fired if we let this fucking happen. Oh, what the fuck did I just step in? It was like, that's too rough. It's it's a rotten floor. Oh, the floor just like giving in? Yeah. Damn, dude. Fucking hell. Damn, dude. Hey, make sure you get that shot that uh, John loves. Like the close up of the toilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. The fucking floor is just like, nah, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> The floor doesn't even want to be inside this house. A lot of these houses, man. A lot of the houses sometimes aren't even in really that bad a condition. But you just get the people that just fucking, they just won't take care of them. It's just ridiculous. Like, there's really no rhyme or reason for why your house has to look like this. Like, look at this. Like, I don't know, like... What is in the mindset of the motherfuckers living like this? But, like, why are you living like a fucking animal, dude? Like, and you want to tell me that when somebody finally has to go through the effort of evicting people like that, how that person's the bad guy and the person living like a fucking animal like that is the victim? That's not fucking reality, right? That is not, you know, real. That's not what's actually happening out here, right? People that fucking treat the properties in the way that that person is treating their property. Those are the fucking problem, but you know, that's not what the mainstream media wants to push. The mainstream media only wants to push the narrative uh, that every landlord must just be this evil, vile human being. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, when was the last time this particular person cut their fucking grass? Like, what... What is the excuse uh, for living like that? That's something you get in the ghetto quite often as well. Nothing like the old Parker in the middle of the yard. That's, uh, that's a ghetto special right there. They, they love doing that in the hood. They also do it out in the country too, in the boondocks for show. They definitely do that there as well. But you definitely do get a lot of that when you're in the, in the hood, man. They, Love parking in the fucking grass. The driveway's totally empty, but the fucking the grass is where it's at, man. Did you guys actually get inside this room? Yeah, we went in there. Yeah. You see how flimsy this fucking door is? Right? Yeah. Nothing left. What the hell? Just get as much footage as we can. That's a bathtub, all right. <laughs> It's a bathtub, alright. Hold on, I wanna get this door, cause it's like... <laughs> this school right here... Uh, I didn't go to this particular school, I showed you guys... 
showed you guys the school I went to. But uh, this particular school right here I used to skateboard at. And, uh, you know, just hang out here. We used to do skateboard tricks on the stairs. Not them stairs right there. You see them kids sitting at. Those stairs are uh, a little bit big, okay? Your boy Jay Wise, you know, he had a couple moves. Uh, but they weren't that good. Nah, the stairs we used to skateboard, they were right over here. You see them where all these kids are standing over here. We used to skate on the, on those school, those stairs right there. Do some tricks and what so Yeah, this or that, we used to ride those, those stairs right there. And uh, this one over here, this, the stair set right over there where that kid is sitting. We used to do some tricks on that one. What school is this? Uh, this is Rhodes. I think it's uh, James Ford Rhodes, I think is what it's specifically called. James Ford's Rhodes. You're not gonna say any like Joe Biden quotes like yeah this is the roughest neighborhood in America and you could always tell where the best basketball is played. Did he really say that? Yeah he just said that like a week ago. Jesus. That's what I'm saying dude this dude blatantly says all this crap. Nobody cares. That's fucking insane. <clears throat> There you go. That's definitely a reputable car dealership right there. I guarantee you they have nothing but quality automobiles at that location for sure. You got yourself some scrappers right there in that red truck. You get scrappers like that, what a lot of people don't know is they'll follow around the bailiffs and they will uh, take everything that gets put on the curb on eviction day. And that's, uh, that's their business. That's how they make their money. And these Cleveland streets are pretty darn narrow. I don't know if we're going out in the kitchen, yo. What up? But what happened to the ceiling, dog? Where is the ceiling at? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.